if your zeal for trout fishing ebbs after opening day, you might want to go wild. Wild trout abound in Pennsylvania. In the past four years, the Fish and Boat Commission designated 1,092 new wild trout streams. Of those, 279 now are Class A streams, the highest ranking, awarded to streams with approximately 40 pounds of trout per acre of water. And the Commission is scheduled to add 99 more streams to the list this month. When fishing for wild trout, you're not shackled to the calendar. When I talked to Don Beller, he's an aquatic biologist from Monroe County who shares the name of a late baseball star, he wasn't even worried if he missed opening day. When not teaching people how to tie flies or advising local governments on how to maintain their creeks or painting stream scenes, he fishes for trout frequently in remote areas. State law allows Baylor and anyone else angling for wild trout to fish year-round provided that they release any trout that they catch out of season. While casting for a wild trout, you're not likely to stand shoulder to shoulder with other anglers like you might have to do on opening day. Some of the streams are in out of the way places, others are in more developed areas than you'd expect. Either way to find them, it can require some exploring. Trout Unlimited, which has helped the commission survey streams, also has plotted the location of the newest streams on a map. In our area, the new streams include, in Carbon County, the Silk Mill Run from an outlet pound almost two miles to the Lehigh River, and a Wild Creek from its headwaters to the Penn Forest Reservoir, as well as Mock Chunk Creek for nearly nine-tenths of a mile to the Lentz Trail Bridge. The Commission and Trout Unlimited have been pushing to survey more of the state's 86,000 miles of rivers and streams and creeks to understand their condition. Once completed, the survey provides a baseline so researchers will know if pollutants enter the water or if a cleanup effort worked. Now, streams face threats from obtaining energy through another method, fracking. Climate change also poses a danger to trout, which need water that is 68 degrees or colder. They can suffer if carbon levels make the temperatures rise or if pests like the woody adelgid kill hemlocks, removing shade from the stream banks. So enjoy wild trout where you find them and don't take them for granted. <laughs>